division in the state Republican Party has put some education items in Governor Walker's budget at an impasse, at least for now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. The legislature's budget committee was expected to vote on Governor Walker's proposals for expanding school vouchers and funding for public education today. That's right. A lot of people have been watching this. However, those votes were delayed one more day, and that's because some Republican leaders do not agree with the governor's plans. So what happens next? Well, the committee co-chair, Representative John Nigren of Marinette, told Fox 11 after the meeting that he's known for a few days that Republican leaders haven't been on the same page as the governor, especially when it comes to the vouchers. However, he says recent talks have shown some progress. Still, they weren't ready to make an official vote today. Now, this delay is coming just a day after the governor and a handful of lawmakers were not able to come to a compromise regarding vouchers. And it wasn't until the start of the Joint Finance Committee meeting this morning that we found out there was still no compromise. The governor wants to expand the voucher program to districts outside of Milwaukee and Racine. That would include nine districts, including Green Bay, Fond du Lac, and Sheboygan in our area. And as Republicans are still trying to hash out a deal, the Democrats are saying they want this voucher proposal off of the table completely. Tonight, we hear from both sides. It's just uh, big government Republicans trying to dictate the local government. Um, my city council is 15-0 against this, and my school board's against this. But uh, these big government Republicans don't listen to local government. and. I think that's what they're thrashing out behind closed doors. We all represent different areas. Uh, we all have different, uh, you know, principles and, and and things that brought us here. And uh, because of that, uh, I think we have uh, different views on it. So I think it, uh, most legislators make decisions based on how things impact their local communities. That was State Representative Nigren. He says he hopes that deals can be made on vouchers and public school funding by Tuesday.